What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a very special video here on our channel. This is the top eight of the Swagoy Season 1 Aquaria Draft Tournament. My name is Ethan, also known as Lord Tupperware. Uh, first things first, if you haven't already, please, please, please consider clicking the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, leaving a comment in the comment section. Really appreciate any and all engagement y'all throw our way on this channel. Now, uh, if you haven't already watched, please go ahead and check out the uh, first video that we did, which was our draft that got us here to the top eight. That's pretty sweet. Um, and now we're here. We're going to be drafting against the folks who either 3 0 would or made it through the double uh, double elimination bracket there. So we've got eight folks from the original 32 that are going to be drafting here in, in this third-party app, and then we're going to upload the decks to MTG Arena. Now, I really have to first apologize uh, while recording this. I didn't switch the aspect ratio um, from capturing my monitor to capturing arena. And so there is going to be, unfortunately, a little slight cutoff um, from the arena matches. So you're, you're not gonna be able to see our opponent's hand size, which is unfortunate as I was just going through and editing, I, I realized that. So I really, really apologize for that, but I still think the draft's super interesting, the matches are super interesting, and I hope you enjoy. All right, here we are for the top eight draft. Um, this is a pretty unexciting pack. Uh, it's like Thundermane, Swallow Hole, Go for Blood. Who, who's Pat? Who, who we're between W Han and Maze. I don't. I don't really know them. Um, so we'll scroll down here. Um. I'm kind of inclined to take go for blood here, actually. Like, I really, I don't know. Savai Th taking a, a one-mana cycler feels way better than taking Savai Thundermane to me. It just seems so much more flexible. It's one color. Um, I think I'm going to land on go for blood here. I mean, there's a snare tactician as well. We're like passing, cycling stuff. I just think taking the one-mana cycler is going to be so much better for us than anything else in this pack. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take go for blood. Okay. And now probably just a lava serpent. I I think clash is bad. I think this card is poop. Void Beckner is pretty good. Um I'm 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 going to be wildly gesturing here with my uh with my mouse cursor because I'm on coverage. For, I'm the featured drafter for this this table, so I think I'm just gonna take Lava Serpent here, um, stick to red, and and pass up on what I think is a pretty clunky removal spell, and Void Beckoner, which is better than Lava Serpent, but is black. So and both of these are colorless cyclers to start with, um, so I'm gonna take Lava Serpent here, and uh, yeah, probably I don't, I don't really care about pacifism. I don't care about anything else in this pack. This has been two kind of weak packs here, so we'll take take Serpent, I guess. Hmm. Oh, baby. Friendship and Porky Parrot. I think I'm just going to snap up Porky Parrot here, um, but feeling real good. There's an uncommon and a common missing in the pack. I'd be happy with Friendship as well. Uh, but Porky Parrot's very good, recognizing that it's uh, that it's secretly a red black gold card. But I'm I'm gonna gonna land on on this for sure. So I'd say like Porky Parrot one, then friendship, then maybe Whirlwind. No, would I take Whirlwind if those two cards weren't here? Maybe I might just take some. There isn't even a cycler here, I guess. So yeah, I don't know what I would take, but I don't have to make that choice. We're just gonna take Porky Parrot here and be pretty happy. Um, we do know that Mr. Metronome is two to our right, so that could that could be something there to to, to think about in terms of, of red being dra overdrafted, underdrafted, whatever, I don't know. Um, but pretty good start here for us. All right, and now some more red to consider. I guess it's it's Howl Bonder, Snare Tactician, Cavern Whisperer are the options for me at the moment. And I guess Dead Weight, but probably I, I think I'm just gonna stick to red with the Howl Bonder. Huh. Snare Tactician is tempting, but I don't really 
care about it also like I just don't want to go into cycling just for that, especially in a like a draft like this with so many good players. They're going to know to take the one mana cyclers first. So I think I'm going to take the Halibonder here um, and just stay red and assume that we'll get some like menace synergies. You know, this is a late whisper and dead weight, but I think I'm just going to stick red here and take the Halibonder. I'm going to get some Tigerillas at some point too. All right, well, there's a Marmoset and not much else. So I'll take that. Again, I'm happy with Marmoset with just what we've got, you know? Um, I would say beyond that, Dream Tail Heron is interesting, but not where I want to be at, though that's the second best pairing for Porky Parrot is with Blue. So you get Glimmer Bell and, and uh, the Thieving Otter. And then there's a Mutual Destruction in the pack as well, but I think 5 for 5 with Red card seems pretty good to me. Already got a minor cycling theme. Having passed the Thundermane and the Tactician 1 and 2, like, I don't know how how much we're going to get there, but, uh, you know, I think having a little package there is, is just fine. So, go for Blood 1, Lava Serpent 2, Parrot 3, Halbunder 4, Marmoset 5 is the order in which we took stuff. Dang! Wow, 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 wow. All right, Dranith Stinger, that is... Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm really happy to see that. Um, just keep on keeping on with our cycling package. I mean, I would be happy with any of these cards and a dead weight and even taking like officer banish. I don't know. This is a, this is a good looking pack. So Ben is not in red, I guess, which is interesting. Um, but I'm thrilled to take this stinger here. So that's the order that we took stuff. Let's see what we get here. But yeah, I'm gonna keep taking red cards, I think, and be happy with a reunion. Lockdown is something, I don't think it's great in red, white. Vulpakeet is something, but not a card that I'm super pumped about. I think I'm just gonna, again, keep cutting red, take Cathartic Reunion, be happy about it. Call it a day, you know? Um, yeah. All right, we can start to, we can sort this by CMC, I suppose. Put this in the ones for now. <laughs> oh, poor Dranith Magistrate. All right, I am going to venture out to take Call of the Death Dweller here. That's Death Touch uh, synergy with the old Porky Parrot. Um, take that. Well, maybe I'm supposed to take a one-mana Cycler, actually. No, all right, I'm going to take the one-mana Cycler. Um, one-mana Cycler makes Marmoset and uh, Stinger better and delays the decision of water second colors. I mean, who knows? Maybe a Snare Tactician is about to wheel. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, no cycling from pack one, which is not super surprising, um, but is of note. We'll take Vulpakeet, take Sad Vulpakeet here over, um, I guess Gremlin and Porky Parrot do something together, but I think Vulpakeet's a better pickup for us. I'm gonna put it in the board for now. We have Volley, Survivor's Bond. I guess I'll just take a Volley for the board. Nothing else here that's very good. Just a bunch of junky green cards. I guess that's redundant. So, yeah, we'll take, take a Volley here for the board. Let's see what's up. Whirlwind of Thought, huh? Yeah. I mean, I don't think this it's great in our deck right now, but it could be. I think that's better than taking Helica Glider or Spontaneous Flight or, or Scorpion. I think this has the highest upside for sure, so I'm going to do that. 
And now heightened reflexes over crystal and crustacean. I have dart and impulse, I'll take a dart. <laughs> Maybe we'll get escape protocol and, and do some shenanigans there. Whoa! That is some hate for Deadweight there. That's kind of wild to me. K U G U R. I love this card so much. I'm going to just take it, right? We could be blue red. I mean, I'm not going to companion it, but I'm going to take it. Other cards to consider Ominous Seas, Marmoset, Whisper Squad, Rock Slide. Startling development. Which has got to be Karuga, right? It's so powerful. That last pick, Deadweight, really threw me for a loop. But I'm going to take Karuga here. I don't know if this is right. It could just be like, we, we might just want to be taking a Rock Slide or a Squad here. I'm going to take Karuga. It's really tough. I have no idea what's right there. All right, Stinger number two. Let's go. That's an easy pick. Stinger is the easy pick here, and then Rock Slide, and then Lynx probably, because Lynx goes with Karuga. Bushmi Poacher, very good. But I think we just take a healer, or take the Stinger rather. Yeah. We know we're red. We know we've got a little cycling sub theme happening. I guess Deadweight's in the board for now. Um, could probably not wheeling anything here, but I think I'm just gonna take the Stinger. Inspired Ultimatum. We have no fixing. Probably just take the one mana cycler here. This could wheel. But I think the responsible pick is just to take development here. Yeah. You know, classic blue, red. I mean, we are just still mono red, basically, at this point. Like, we don't have to play Karuga. We still don't know what our second color is. We have three things that care about cycling, four things that cycle. So it's like a package in the deck right now. Another Howlbonder. A Capture Sphere, but probably just Startling Development. Yeah, more one minus cyclers seem good to me. If we get fixing, we could. I mean, we could end up like that Jeskai Ultimatum deck. I don't know. I'm gonna take Startling Development. Yeah, Capture Sphere is fine. Hellbonder's fine, but we don't have other menace creatures right now, so I'm just gonna take the development. Ooh, that's interesting. So we've got Serpent, Tigerilla. Because Tigerilla goes with the Halbonder. And then there's Memory Leak as another one mana cycler. I think I'm just supposed to take Memory Leak. I mean, I don't know. Like, we passed the, the Thundermane and the two Tacticians in pack one. 
So I don't know how much cycling stuff we're going to end up with. But I think I like the one mana cycler better than... It's between that and Lava Serpent for me, I think, over the Tigerilla. It's very close, but I'm going to take Memory Leak here. Wow, another Halbonder and a Bloodfell Caves. It's also a Thieving Otter. Thieving Otter goes with the Porky Parrot and make and as a three drop for Karuga. Like I don't think this is good in our deck right now, but I don't think this Halibonder is actually good at the moment. So I think I'm gonna take Otter. Could end up like a blue red tempo if we get like Frost Lynxes or something. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. Also, Otter's not the worst with the startling developments. And then maybe we think about something like Halibonder on the board. I don't know. Ooh, all right. Tiger is good. Love One Mind is good. Actually, kind of like Tiger makes Halibonder better. We have Karuga to draw cards. We have Cathartic Reunion. I think, I think Tiger is better for us. And we also know we're red. I mean, honestly, there's like another Marmoset, and we're good. Ooh, friendship. Ooh, and development. Oof. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. What? I guess I just want the one mana cycler and hope to get hooked up in pack three with some more like Marmoset Stinger action. It's sad to pass this friendship here. Really not getting there on, on the whirlwind of thought life. It, maybe if we wheel that Jeskai ultimatum, you know. But I'll, I'll take development here. Let's just see what comes around. This was our... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. This is our opener. Take another development. Feel fine. I don't know if we're supposed to be cycling or not. Well, that certainly feels open with all these one mana cyclers that we have. Put leak in that column as well. Uh, Cyclone, Facet Reader, Convolute, Cathartic Reunion, Divine Arrow. I guess another reunion is the most likely. This card is bad. Certainly bad in our deck. And I don't think we need a Facet Reader. I think we just want a, a second reunion here. So I'll take that. Don't know if I want to play it just yet. All right, no Jeskai ultimatum, huh? So then the question becomes, we have a reflex already. I'll take Corpse Churn as the most likely situational card we'll want. This has been a tough draft. I mean, I'm, red is open, one mana cyclers coming around. But, uh, Yeah, I'm not, I don't have high hopes for this deck at the moment. Sure. And again, I, yeah, we really uh, don't have to be... Our second color is still up in the air, which is kind of wild. <laughs> sure, Ozolith. All right, what do you got for us, pack three? Ruinous Ultimatum, Bastion of Remembrance, Mystic Subduel is very good, but we're just going to take Dranith Stinger here. Get our third Stinger to go with our, you know, very medium cycling deck. Um, there's not really much else to say, I think. Like... Coil bug's good, but I, th I think at the moment we're trying to be blue. We could be green, I guess, but whatever. We're just going to take Stinger. We're shipping someone in a uh, Ruinous Ultimatum. That's fine. We just don't have fixing. And hope to get past some cycling payoffs, I guess. A triple Stinger Marmoset. That's like, okay. It's okay.
All right, and now what? Frostvale Ambush as a one mana cycler. Proud Wild Bonder as four drop trampler that has like synergy with the Tigerilla. I mean, I think we're just taking Ambush. Pyroceratops could be okay in this deck. But I think we just take Ambush. Maybe like Will of the All Hunter wheels. Like one of these three could wheel, four could wheel. But I think I like Ambush the best. Oof. Weaponize is not good for me, right? I mean, I might just take it here anyway. Because it's good reach. There's C Dash Rothkopus, which I don't like basically at all. And, like, currently, I mean, this Porky Parrot is quite bad in our deck, if I'm being honest. I mean, it goes with the Otter. I think we just take Weaponize. And see, is there anything in our sideboard that like goes well with it? No, our creature count's pretty low. But I think we're just gonna take this weaponize here and hope. You know, we could see some tokens. It's possible I'm just supposed to, am I just supposed to take memory leak here? Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to take memory leak here. So sad to pass weaponize though. But I think we do. All right, Curdle versus Friendship. Oh, so sad to see that Friendship here. After passing Weaponize. Could also see Scatter if we think we're playing this Karuga, which I just don't know if we are. Friendship does very little in this deck. Hmm. I guess yeah, Curdle with the Halbonder is not bad also. I think I'm just supposed to take Curdle. Hmm. That's really tough. I don't know. I don't know what's right there. Okay, so now we've got a number of options. We have Cloud Piercer, Smasher, Oddity. I think I just want Piercer. I just have no Mutate though. One, two, three. I just have no Mutate. I mean, this is fine. It's just a five mana five four that Karuga cantrips with, but is Smasher just better because it cycles? Smasher's probably just better because it cycles. Yeah. And also triggers the Karuga, if that's what we're playing. Well, hello, Bootnipper. And Coilbug. If we had that, if we had that weaponize. But I think Bootnipper with Porky Parrot is good enough to maybe cut Otter Karuga. And then we could play a Corpse Churn, too. And we play Deadweight as well. All right, I think I'm going to take Boot Nipper for black. So what does that look like? I mean, we can find this combo pretty consistently. <laughs> Ruinous Ultimatum, number two. Blitzleech and Thieving Otter. I just don't have like I'll take I'm gonna take the blitz leech here. I 
I don't know. I do not like this deck. It seems like it can do some stuff, but it's very threat light. Shredded sails. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, maybe Porky Parrot, Boot Nipper, Triple Stinger, little Menace sub theme. All right, there's a Coil Bug. I'm not mad about that. I don't know what it can do, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One Mana Psychos? Yeah, we can probably do 14 lands. Another Blitzleech is nice. Probably not playing both, but. I'm trying to remember now what I took over Karuga. Or I took Karuga over. So I would obviously go back and, and redo that if I could. Another nipper. All right, another nipper to go with our porky parrot. That seems good. What I what do I cut for it now? What do I cut for it? Sales? I kind of like sales. Maybe leech. I really liked having access to leech. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just that that the sonar's halibonder, but. That seems good to me. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to cut here. Hmm. I do think I want Cathartic Reunion here. But maybe not. Maybe that's the card I can afford to lose. I'm going to Flood, though. Let's start with Shredded Sails on the board, I think. And run that. Run it like that. All right, here we are back again against Quarter Calls in round one of the top eight here, which is single limb. And I don't like our chances here, folks. He's got uh, the Kryptonite to our deck, I think, which is triple Honey Mammoth. So he's a, a multicolor green deck. Again, ramp into Honey Mammoth, one back for more. Um, we'll have to ship this hand. Looks like he's got a real tough decision here, unless his computer's like crashing or something. Uh, he's gonna keep, I am going to mulligan. And yikes and keep and ship a blitz leech. Say go, or I guess say let's go. Okay, cycle one of our many one drops here. 
or one of, one of our many one mana cyclers here. Something must be going on over there. This is I know Alex plays super fast. Yikes. Oh, so something happened here. All right, recycle development. We're not getting there though, so he gets a chance to catch back up. Unless his internet's like out or something, I don't know. Maybe his computer died? All right, he's back. So we'll start with well, Death Touch Nipper, I guess. Profit and swag. In a land. Yeah, I'll drop Stinger here. But if there's a Honey Mammoth coming, which I feel like there's likely, it's so funny. He, he's just totally skipped his second turn, and it, I think it's going to not matter at all. Um, I will trade. No, will I? No, I won't trade. That's fine. Honey! Yeah. Gotta leave the boot nipper to try and trade with this honey mammoth. Okay. So now... Maybe we just memory leak them? See what's up? Beckoner, Spinner, it's mutual destruction. Yeah, let's take, uh... Take mutual destruction away from him. No attacks. He's two mana away from just casting Beckoner. Attacks with the Schwag. Probably pumps. No blocks for me. Okay. Take four. Yeah. I think now we want to take Beckoner. So we'll just leak again. No attacks. See, we're going to see the rare self mill? No. What a coward. But he can. He's still one man away from double pumping. Oh, I will gladly get that spinner. It's out of your hand, I think. Yeah. It's all block. Okay. Oh, we can first strike, we can cycle the Smasher here. Okay. I guess that's what we're going to do. Maybe I should have been doing that before, but no attacks, end turn. First strike, death touch on the Shwag. Oh, I'm just 
dead. No, well, we'll see. We'll see what he does. Yeah, smash all here. Um, I have to block Honey Mammoth. Pumps. Cycle Smasher. Draw land. Take eight. We're not dead. He's gonna cycle crystal. Red land. Let's go. Nipper lifelink. And stinger. Or no, coil bug. Yikes. I don't even know what this could be. Did he forget about the first strike counter? Looks like he did. All right, we're up to four, and there's another honey mammoth. I have no idea how I could possibly win this game. Um, well, what the heck can we do here? Uh, Stinger cycle. Do I want a stinger stinger cycle, or are these better as just extra cards? Stinger stinger means that I can trade with uh, Honey Mammoth if he kills the boot nipper, so I think I'm in for that. All aboard the pain train, down to 27. Tigerilla land. Okay. So, Tigerilla menace. Hope to draw like a blood curdle or draw our super menace. Creature. No attacks. I think I gotta cycle this, like, we gotta find removal stat. There it is, there's a Kirtle. All right, so, Kirtle Honey Mammoth. Menace on a Stinger, right? I kinda like attack all here. Does he have any pump? He has Heartless Act, then that Pump. All right, I think we just attack all. Okay, no whammy. He can't even cast back for more right now. Wow, ugh. So maybe maybe missing that first turn or that second turn really did mess him up, that sucks. But I will take it. I really think this is an atrocious matchup for me. All right, to sideboarding here. Sleeper dart. Shredded Tails doesn't really do anything. Blitz Leech, is that good? Blitz Leech is a way to like trade with a honey mammoth, I guess. Kills Skull Prophet, Canaba Brushwag, maybe. I don't know.
yeah, I think the only thing to change here is maybe bringing in a leech. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is. All right, we'll keep swag on one. Probably wait to cycle the uh, the development until we see Stinger. Curdle's good. Curdle's a good draw. Find out right now if he's got a dead weight. No, just just ramping. One rampy boy. Uh, okay, we'll start with cycling development. Dead weighting the swag. Playing a land and attacking. So maybe we kept him off of uh, Mutate Life. Nothing with Flash. So I'm going to just attack with Stinger and plan to curdle whatever 6-drop he plays here. Assuming he's just going to slam a Honey Mammoth. Okay, undoing all the work that I've done here, so we'll curdle that. Start cycling some developments here. Porky Parrot, all right. And it'll be a real bummer if he sticks another six. Be nice to have Lava Serpent just crunch on in this turn. Harvester. Okay. My turn. Not a ton that I can do about that. Let's uh, attack and smasher. What other mutate is in his deck? It's just a Luna. So he's got a Luna Apex of Wishes, which is the teamer one, which is six mana, which he has. So removal is Charge of the Forever Beast, Heartless Act. We're seeing Mutual Destruction. That feels really good. And just a crystal getting cast. Why are you casting a crystal here? All right, well, we'll hold land and play Serpent and attack. Oh, because he's he wants to play Void back in her next turn? Huh, maybe I land Cycle here. If he's on Void Beckoner, as just like, let's drop it as an 8-8. Eight eight. Huh. It's very close. I think I'm going to do it, yeah. Recycling it. I think we might have gotten there.
Oh no, he missed. I think he just he just messaged me in Discord. Ugh, that totally sucks. I did find Heartless Act. So when he goes down to four, I think we'll uh, Gorilla, Menace, and then Boot Nipper. Another one? Whoa, oh, he, has two. he does have two. Wow. All right, here we are for round number two, the semifinals here. Uh, we, we, we're up against it again. Uh, a deck that I do not like our, our chances of. Uh, we're playing against red-white. Um, not really cycling, sort of like red-white. You know, there's some cycling. It's go wide. There's double survive Thunder Mane, which is scary. Uh, this is going to be a keep for us. They've got Lurus as well, not companioned. Um, weaponize the monsters, which does not uh, bode well for us. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and pass here. Go Stinger into Marmoset and try and get some some work done here. Now, if they play Thundermane, yeah, that's really scary for me. Now I think I just cycle Stinger because we're at the very yeah. I think I just cycle Stinger. How many one mana cyclers do they have? They have, oh, they don't really have that many. Oh, hold on a second. I didn't quite realize that they have like nothing that cycles. They have two Gopher Bloods. Two Gopher Bloods, one coordinated charge. That's it. Hmm. All right, I can let that resolve, obviously. Uh, huh. Feels like I still shouldn't risk them getting value off of it, so I'm gonna just cycle Stinger here. All right, and go ahead and pass. Probably not corpse turning. That's probably too important. Pass. Sabertooth. I guess we're on nothing here and just playing Marmoset. They've got some removal, right? Double Pacifism, Rock Slide, Will of the All Hunter, Divine Arrow, Heightened Reflexes. All these cards are very scary for us. This could be any number of things. Um... What's the worst? Reflexes, I guess. I, I think I have to block. Like, I, I mean, I guess I could, I could wait in memory leak next turn, and hope that it's just the one thing. All right, let's do that. We'll take six and and, and memory leak. But I'm not, I'm not crazy about this. All right, so let's see what's going on upstairs. Divine Arrow will go for blood. So I guess we just take Arrow and play a land and pass. I probably cycle go for blood here. I don't know. Might cycle both. No, they're just going to chill. I mean, they can try and get to six mana and get two one CMC cyclers. They could try and pump first and then fight. And then we can respond in kind with... Uh, 
they pump this and fight, and then we cycle leak. And then maybe try and double spell, but then they still have Thundermane around, but then they've, they, we've it's basically three for one of them there, if that's what they're going to do. Caprador. Okay. Oh, they can now, though, now they can pump... Pump fight next turn. Pass. My turn. Interesting. Okay. So. I can't play an X2. I think I have to memory leak something out of their hand here. Cards are really scary. The fight is... Is the fight scarier than the trick? The fight seems worse than the trick to me. The f yeah, I think the fight is scarier here. Alright, we'll take Gopher Blood out of their hand. And then we'll pass. This greatly reduces the clock for us. Because they could fight and then absorb. I mean, we just had to do that. Because they then what they get to do is just pump, fight, and we can't mess with that. So we had to do that. Okay. Maybe this is an attack of impatience, I don't know. But I will attempt to get them here. I mean, they, they could have drawn something else, some other. So they don't, I guess, heightened reflexes? This would still be a trade, though. Still be a three for one. All right, will the all hunter uh, resolve cycle? All right, so it's it's still a three for one though, so I'm pretty happy with that. And now we can start to deploy the rest of our hand. So we can Nipper, Life Link, and then Halbonder. Yeah, that seems good to me. Could get back Marmoset. Attacking with the Caprador. Attacking with the Sabertooth. Well, definitely take the opportunity to block here. And they play another Sabertooth. Fine. Hmm. Now I think I want to churn. Yeah, I'm going to churn. Oh, nice. We just mill... That, we're going to get back Marmoset. We're going to play a land, play Marmoset, and attack. There's one. Friendship, wow. Okay. <laughs> so I think we just play Gorilla on Menace. I think we uh, attack here for one, for two find a trade with Sabretooth and a 1-1 if they want. 
and probably hold land, but cycle no matter what on their turn. Hmm. Okay. What'd you get? Yikes. Wow. Five lands stop for the opponent is, you know, pretty frustrating, but not much I can do about it. Okay, another cycler. A land. Now I think we just coil bug, bring it back. And again. It's tough. Any cycler off the top, but we, we know that they don't have more, right? They just have a go for blood. They have one more go for blood and a coordinated charge. So it's unlikely that they draw a cycler. We can attack with Tigerilla and trade with like Tactician and a 1-1. One, one. I don't hate that. I think I attack with the Tigerilla here or, or clean up these three. We'll just take four, okay? It's Coil Bug, Play Bug, and say go. That's interesting. I forgot about that card, if I'm being honest. All right, Tigerilla in again for four. Yeah. So what could they have? They've, so they've got something. So let's look at their deck list. What instance? Charge? I'll put you first. And then leech. Could be charge. Yeah, we still want to leech though. Oh, all right. Get him. Still hold land, I think. Take one. Oof. Thundermane. My turn. So I think we send with the team here. So they have to block block here, right? Yeah. Fine by me. Cycle. I guess that would have won me the game. Um, yeah, cycle again, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, cycle again. I don't know what I'm worried about, though. Yeah, I'm going to do this again. I don't know. Okay. All right, game one. Let's go. All right, so on to game two. So Blitzleech, definitely very good in this matchup. Um, let's let's just go ahead and look at the deck again. Um, we see three Savai Sabertooths. So we could think about bringing... Oh, and two Forbidden Friendships. So I like Blazing Volley as well. Um, <laughs> maybe you want to take out some of our fragile... Like, Sonar's Halbonder was good there, but these fragile... Small creatures are are problematic in this matchup. Like, 
think the bugs stay, the stingers stay, but I think Halbonder goes. Like I th the fact that I can still do Nipper into Porky Parrot, I think is good. Tri Tigerilla is still good. Yeah, I like bringing in Volley here. I think I want to stick with the, the 14 lands as well. I could see cutting Reunion on the draw. But probably not. This feels like it could be a grindy matchup. I could see cutting Corpse Churn. Getting back one of these is nice, though. But it doesn't feel like that's what the matchup is about. I think I'm going to cut Churn on the draw. And run out like this. All right, that's a keep. Fox. Whoa, Fox is in their sideboard. That's kind of crazy to me. Okay. I guess, I mean, that makes sense, I guess, because they don't have a lot of cycling. But he's kind of wild otherwise. <laughs> Hi, Thundermane. All right, Stinger. You're getting cycled. Yeah, this is scary. All right, we'll cycle Serpent. Yeah, this is a really bad, really bad curve out from our opponent here for us. Um, I can't even play Stinger, but what am I supposed to do? I guess I just have to and hope they don't have any cycling in their hand. Yes, go for blood. Yeah, that's game. All right, that was bad, very bad. Um, I still, I think that's we just gotta gotta hope to not see the thunder mains there. Being on the play should help. first all right we got the blazing volley that should be good i'll keep all right i hope it's good hope we see the the three ones and not the three twos here okay no fox start off by cycling ambush play stinger All right, there we go. And the question is, how much to hold? Wow, there's so many lands. Uh, I'm gonna cycle go for blood first. All right, we get a bug, that's good. Play bug. No attacks. Ooh, cycle charge means our opponent's stuck, and they didn't get there. That's very good for me. Um, now I think we parrot shoot this. Because now we can kill an X2. Storm Wild Caprador, fine. Wow, that only grows it. That's annoying. 
All right, let's uh, attack with the parrot. Got to find like Cathartic Reunion or hit a pocket of Cyclers. Like this is the way that we win this is by our opponent stumbling here. That's like almost all their Cyclers down. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Curdle. Menace on the Stinger. Smash. Finally unlocks red. What's the scariest? Rumbling rock slide would be bad. I guess Thundermane cycle the other gopher blood would be bad. Possible I wasn't supposed to curdle the Caprador, but I, it, I did feel like pushing damage there is right. Rock slide, okay. Well. Hmm. Yeah, I think we say show me what's up. Pacifism, Weaponize, Thundermane, Sabertooth, Sabertooth. Okay. I think it's got to be Weaponize here. Um, though, I think, I think it's got to be a red card. And then what? I just hope they, like, play three creatures next turn. What's scary? We Weaponize, I think, is scarier than Thundermane here. I'm going to take Weaponize. And... Yeah, I want to get to land six anyway, so I might as well attack here. I mean, Thundermane's scary, except that we know that they've now got only one cycling card in their deck left. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good to see. All right, so let's let's uh I'm going to wait for that other saber tooth. I'm going to get back coil bug and then play coil bug. Or I, yeah, I get back coil bug, play coil bug. I guess that means they pacify it. Pacify and then saber tooth number 2. Why are they excited to do this? Reflexes, sure. That's totally fine. Yep. You want to pacify or no? Great. And I'll, I'll just nipper and death touch. Pacify the nipper is great. Tactician is fine. Heck yes. I think we might have gotten there. I had to get lucky. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, unless it's Divine Arrow, I think that's it. Oh my god. All right, here we are in the finals of the top eight. We're playing against a Jeskai Ultimatum deck here. Um, pretty sketchy-ish mana base, seven islands, five mountains, four plains, but it doesn't seem to have uh, messed up, messed with our opponent getting to the finals at all. Um, so we'll see if we can get there with our Dranith Stingers. Uh, removal Suite looking like Swallow Hole, Divine Arrow, Essence Scatter, Gust, Clash, and that uh, Pacifism Capture Sphere. Inspired Ultimatum, uh, and two Ominouses. All right, we're going to start off by keeping this hand. Let's see what we can do. And uh, all right, so we'll start off with a Mountain, and we'll wait to cycle until both Stingers are in play. Most of our opponent's removal leaves Stinger in play. All right, oh. That's kind of cute. I think I'm going to save that for later. Let's just drop a stinger that can actually block. Be interesting if they attack into it. Oh, nothing. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we're a lucky boy here. Is there any mutate happening? There's an Oracorn and a Cloud Piercer, so I may actually want to try and get them to... Oh, I can cycle the Smasher, though, for first strike. All right. Oh, Divine Arrow? Okay. Okay, land number three and blue. Ooh, churn. Churn's interesting. Um, yeah, I think I want to attack here. Keep them off of Mutate, and then Bug, and then Nipper. Yeah, scatter my Coil Bug. Gust, sure. Land number five, opponent still two red off. All right, there's Oracorn, as suspected. And let's go. Mutate. And Stinger. Of one mind, sure. Scared about this ultimatum, I'll tell you that. Yep, there's one red source away. Okay. Attack. 
and Tiger Gorilla Menace. I mean, they don't, but do they even want a Jeskai Ultimatum here? I mean, Facet Reader, sure. Capture Sphere on the Porky Parrot. Swallow Hole, okay. Splendor Mare. Back Smasher. Dig, dig, dig. All right. Game number one. So let's take a look at this deck again to try and figure out what we want to side in. Feels like... I don't know. I don't. They they've double forbidden friendship, but I don't think that's enough to make and a far finder. I don't think that's enough to make me want to play um, blazing volley. Do I see any flyers? No. So no shredded sails. No way to interact with enchantments. Sleeper darts interesting. Um. Against an eight eight, I suppose. But they'd have to attack with it. I mean, I think we just gotta hope to get lucky again with a little little stumble from our opponent. I'm gonna run it back the same. Yeah, don't want height. Maybe I want heightened reflexes with boot nippers. Now let's just run it back. Poof. I think I'm keeping. Ominous Seas. Right, this will be a much different game now. Much different game. It's a good draw. There's no reason for me. I don't have like red, red, right? Not on three. Yeah, I'll just do this. So you go. Cycle, cycle. That's good. Okay. No essence scatter, that's nice. Facet reader, all right, that can get blitz leached. There's a land. I probably need to cycle something this turn. I have to save Curdle for this. I'm wondering if I should cycle. To, I'm going to cycle to try and hit a two drop here. Hmm, yeah. Number five, no white for the opponent yet. Clash. Eh, that's fine. All things considered, that's pretty fine. All right, so let's memory leak. See what's upstairs. Au revoir. Dig. I 
That's a good draw too. Ooh, wow. <sighs> All right. That's bad for me. This corpse turn it back. Far finder, sure. Now you have your white source. Like without inspired ultimatum, if I just had five answers to these these eight eights, I should be all right. Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, I can't do anything with my mana. Well, oh, they're not going to draw, so I don't need to be able to do ominouses now. Maybe I halbonder plus. I think I'm gonna halbonder. Oh, they're gonna have a. Hmm. I think I'm going to smash her here. Because of Oracorn. They can't do both next turn. And how do I deal with this? Can I get a 5-5, five five, I guess? Or Blitzleech? Yeah, let's smash her. Man. I was really feeling confident about this game until that Essence Scatter. Yeah, all right, there's Capture Sphere. Hope to get a land or a two drop here. Dead weight. that's good. Huh. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I gotta be able to curdle the 8-8, eight eight, and then, yeah, all right, so dead weight, dead weight the facet reader. And then pass. Didn't really take a look at their sideboard of what they could like bring in. Oh, Lava Serpent, yikes. And then Oracorn, yeah, this game's pretty much over, I think, unfortunately. So we can Tigerilla plus Churn. And Churn back the 5-5. Five five. Oh, we're not dead, we're not dead. But unfortunately, a lot of their draws are like a lot of, they have a lot of tempo. Of one mind, bleh. Right, there's three of those. Not mutating, huh? It's kind of weird to me. Just casting. Okay. Well, now I think I'm going to get back um, Leech so that I can kill the 1-1 one, one, and then have two trades. I guess I could wait, see if they want to attack all. They don't have another counter spell. Leech, Farfinder, Block, Ceratops. And uh, 
That's pretty good. Ten cards left in my deck? How do I win? So we fight the Oracorn? Whew. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this game. So I don't know how to deal with another 8 8. Yep. Nah, alright. I'm not dead, dead, but I'm basically dead. All right, last game here. Do I want second Blitz Leech? It seemed mildly interesting. It's good again. I didn't realize it's good against Ceratops too, and the double facet readers. It does make their Clash of Titans very good. I think I'm gonna just keep it as is. All right, focus up here. We would like to play first. I would like to keep this. This is a good hand. This is a hand that can like punish them setting up a bunch of stuff and drawing cards. Need on Stinger. If they pass with two mana up, probably just gonna cycle a little bit here. Not attack into Divine Arrow. Okay. Splendor Mare. Rough. Very rough indeed. Should I cycle? I think I should. Ugh. Stupid sexy Splendor Mare gonna undo all my hard work. All right. So now, how do we feel about them using Divine Arrow. I don't really feel that bad about it. Probably rather it gone before Marmoset hits the battlefield.
Yeah, okay. Uh, that resolves. And I think I just... Right, what's the reason to not do this? There's no reason to... I can wait if they want to, like, mutate or something. I don't know. Or corn. Okay. Mm. Marmoset. So Divine Arrow's gone. Pacifism and Capture Sphere exist. Clash exists. Cycling Triome. We haven't seen Scatter yet. They're being very careful to hold it up. Pass. Okay, that's a good draw. Yep. Facet reader. Facet reader. Friendship. I think we cycle this. Yeah, I want to make sure I can play Leech next turn. Okay. Okay. So I'm sorry, I'm so like so tense right now. Okay. Turn back serpent, right? And leave this back to block. So I'm gonna attack with Marmoset. They could have swallow hole. Okay. Next, hold lands for um, what's it called? For the cathartic reunion. I have one mind, 19 to R19, pacifism to Marmoset, okay. Rock slide to leech, attack for six. Cycling seas. So just, taking, so just have ultimatum just has to be on the bottom. That's all.
Getting him to chump. What else is in the deck? Smasher? I think we can afford to land cycle here. No, no, no ultimatum. All right, Cloud Piercer. Fine. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing to get back here. It's good to know. All right, so now we attack. Cycle and hope. <laughs> Just got to dodge a little bit here. Just got to dodge a little bit. Tigerill on Menace. Come on. Land go. Wow, I cannot believe we got there. Let's go. 6-0 on the day, winner of the top eight. Thanks for watching, folks.